junk, junk, junk. Come on, man. Everything that I'm gonna share with you in this video about this product is just my own opinion based on what I've had to do to get it to work on my car. It's not necessarily me trying to badmouth anyone or any company or anything like that, but let's just say this is probably the first time I've installed something this expensive, I guess, and just not really happy, not happy with it, and take it for what it's worth. I'm gonna show you what I went through to get this installed and what it looks like and what had to be done. There's so many different variables. Maybe the supplier shipped me the wrong ends or maybe they went through some kind of a redesign. I don't even know. I don't even care. It's on the car. I'm gonna run it unless it falls off. Everything that I'm going to say in this video is strictly just my own opinion. Watch the video see how it's installed and then make your choice as to whether you want to purchase this kit and put it on your car. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my teeny tiny little automotive channel. We are going to do the ZR1 style spoiler on the C5. And here it is right here. This just came in last week. Pretty cool little deal. Um, it's offered on eBay by a company called Extreme Online Store. Basically what I'm doing is I'm installing this spoiler and then I'm adding the wicker bill, which is a separate piece that's gonna bolt to the back of this and kind of come across and it'll be like, I don't know, this tall. So it, it's two different kits from two different companies and the end result is pretty cool looking. It does come with the stud kit and these cool little doodads. And these are pretty neat because what these do is they go into the spoiler and then when you lay it on the car you're able to tape these ends down and then it basically shows you where you need to drill once you lift that spoiler up off of these. The company that provides the plexiglass actual wicker bill, I don't know, uh, they take like 30 days to make it and send it to you so I'm still waiting on that. Here's the piece. And it's actually really nice. Uh, I think this piece cost me about 160 bucks, but you can see, I mean, it's molded really well. So it fits the lines of the car, you know, all the way across. I'm really happy with it. You know, not a huge gap or anything like that. So it doesn't appear to be Chinese junk. After doing some research on these spoilers, what I found is there's a lot of guys out there that will put the 3M double-sided tape on the bottom of these and they say they've run them on the track and this and that and they've had no issues. Cool. I'm actually going to use the hardware that came with this and I'm going to drill into the back piece here and use the nuts and mount this permanently. I have no plans to remove this once it's on. I think it looks super killer on the car so it's going to live here. So I might as well just kind of do it right the first time I guess and, uh, and make it permanent. Here are your mounting points on this already. And what these cool little doohickeys do, you put them in here, each one goes in like this. And let's see, then you set this down and you get it all lined up wherever it's gonna live, blah, blah, blah. And then you tape these to the back of the car. And when you remove this, what you're gonna see is, let's pretend this is taped down. This is gonna be in its place. Now there's a hole in the top, and this is where you drill your pilot hole, and then you can come back and drill your final hole. But it lines everything up, so it pretty much takes the guesswork out of, you know, trying to put holes in the back of your car. I just got my wicker bill from Automotive Aerodynamics. This is one that I've been waiting on. It's taken probably two or three weeks or so to, to get this, and it just showed up yesterday, and I just unboxed it right now. Um, let me show you what this looks like. There's the box that this thing came in, and this is what you're gonna get. Looks like three pieces of Lexan that have been cut, some hardware, two brackets, 
this was just inside the box and it had two bags from Walmart just stuffed like on top. For what I spent on this, I would have liked to have had it at least maybe bubble wrapped or something a little bit better than just two Walmart bags, really. Once you get everything laid out from your box, this is what you're gonna end up with. I've got two of these black brackets. Looks like they were just 3D printed. You can see all the lines and stuff in them. I may go back and do something with the finish. I don't know, maybe I'll just leave it. Uh, you've got your three acrylic pieces here. I've got 10 of these little, they're not even washer. Well, I guess they're washers. They're, I don't know what you'd call them. Not conventional washers. You've got eight of these bolts. You've got 14 of these. And then you've got eight regular nuts there. So I'm assuming these go together. And you've got their fancy little business card. Now the instructions for this did not come with it. You'll have to go to their website and then click on this actual product. Scroll down to the bottom and it'll have pictures and a description of how this all goes together. So that's what I'll do next and I'll kind of get it mocked up before I put it um, up against the spoiler there. After reading through their online instructions, this is how I think it goes. I seem to have extra hardware or maybe just they switched from using most of these to something else. I'm not sure, but this is the best I could get from it is you've got these that have like this aggressive thread on it and that's what goes in these bottom holes and that's going to screw into the ABS plastic of your spoiler. Then you've got these Allen key head uh, screws that are going to go into this bracket, but I only have eight. So I've got two here and two here. So I'm assuming that maybe one of these extras like this is gonna go into one of these holes. The problem is this has a tapered head on it and this is not printed with a, a countersink or anything. So I'm gonna have to actually go in and, and with a countersink bit so that this will kind of sit flush inside whichever one or both, I guess, I'm not sure yet. To start off, the instructions are gonna tell you that these are your first two holes that you want to work with. So what I've done is I measured from this hole to this hole. I didn't go to the outer corner just in case it was off by a little bit. I just went from the outer edge of this one to the outer edge of this hole right here. And there's my center line. I already had the center line marked on my spoiler. So then I went up three eighths from the bottom and made a mark three eighths from the bottom here. So I laid it on and then just drew my lines out. So now I know I'm exactly the same on both sides. I placed this on top of that, lined everything up, and then I used my paint marker to go through these two holes and make those marks. And that's where my first two little uh, holes are gonna be that I have to drill. It's gonna tell you to use a 5 seconds drill bit. I'm actually using a smaller one to start with because I can always go up from there and, you know, just to be safe. Here's the first part. I tried to leave as much of the protective plastic on there as I could just to, you know, keep it from getting scratched and stuff while I do this, but uh, everything's centered and the first two screws are in and now I start working out from here. And now I have the markings for where my holes are going to get drilled right through the center of those little doodads. And that's what they look like all taped out on the car. To get your tail lights off, just grab yourself a T15 Torx screwdriver and you've got two screws on each one and you should be able to pop them right out. I'm gonna start with a really small drill bit because I'm just making a tiny little pilot hole and then I can come back with the actual size that I'll need. What I've done is put a little bit of blue Loctite on these little studs before I started threading it in. Now I'll just take my screwdriver, just make sure they're nice and tight in there. And that's all you need. These are the little studs that come with the kit and they're not long enough. I mean, they're barely long enough. So what I've done is I went and found a couple of these, same thread pitch and everything. And I'm using them uh, in the very corners and then I'll use the studs on the inside, they'll be okay, but I wanted something 
with a little bit more grab on the ends here. Here's the first part. The spoiler part is on, and now I gotta work on the rest of this wicker bill kit. Both of these kits are, I mean, they're okay quality. If you're the type of person that is going to order this kit and expect to just take it out of the box, slap it on, and it's gonna be easy peasy, it's not. But if you're the type of person that doesn't mind re-engineering a couple pieces because the hardware, some of the hardware in that first kit, just the spoiler, it wasn't right. Um, I had to find some extra bolts and kind of modify it to my liking. If you're that type of person, perfect. You'll have no issues with this whatsoever other than, you know, bruised, dirty hands and a little bit of blood here and there, but that just comes with working on cars. On this bracket, I had to get my little bit out here so I could create that little concave area. Uh, the words are completely escaping my mind right now, but uh, just so this thing would sit in there flush because none of these holes that are drilled in this bracket are that way. So if they want you to use these screws, well, you're gonna have to drill those a little bit just so that you can set them in there flush. I've been messing with this thing for I don't know how long now. I've got my heat gun. I've heated this and tried to bend it as best I could and it's, it's just not gonna go. I mean, you can see where I got it bent and I started putting a screw in there and it just popped right back out. It just, it will not, it's like this is too thick. It's not molded correctly. At this point in this install, I'm, I'm torn. Like part of me wants to just say this piece is absolute junk, but it's not junk. It's just, it's really not designed as well as it could be not for the money that they're charging so here's what i'm going to do it sucks that i now have a hole in this side but i'll i'll fill it and patch it and paint it whatever uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna cut this stupid piece off on the end here it's just it's not gonna work it's not gonna wrap around what's gonna happen is if i started here you know, the instruction said to start here and I started doing that, but it wasn't going to wrap without breaking. So I started the other way and kind of pulled it this way to give myself some room and then, you know, got this around. But this is just going to end up breaking off anyway. So I am going to just get my scribe and make a line right there. I'm going to pull this piece off and I'm going to cut this end off. I don't need it. I'll just cut it flush down here and I'll run it that way because this part right here, you know, it's going to look all right. It's going to do what it it's supposed to do, I guess, and look the way it's supposed to look. But, you know, there's just a lot of pieces to this kit, this wicker built kit that just somebody rushed or somebody didn't take the time. I, I, I don't know. Even the pictures of the install that they have on their website, these pieces look different than what's on their site. So maybe their design has changed over time. I, I don't know. That's... The only thing I can come up with is I'm just gonna cut this stupid end piece off and, and just live with it. Learn my lesson, that's 160 bucks that I kind of wish now that I hadn't spent. I'm gonna take my lemons and I'm gonna make lemonade. Something else I noticed, I've got like different hardware. I, same type of screw, exact same length and all, but just randomly this one has a different head on it than this one does. Like, As I'm installing this other side here, I just noticed, you can see how thick this is, this piece right here, compared to this middle piece. Now, if this piece with that little ear on the end was made out of this thickness, it probably would have worked. This was just way too thick to have that kind of a bend in it and then expect it to be bent even more. It's that, there's no way, not without it just completely snapping off. So they should make it out of this. Here it is. I mean, it's installed. This is what it looks like.
it's okay. So that's it. I mean, it's, it's on. I'm not over the moon, you know, just thrilled with it. I'm actually <laughs> kind of unhappy with it, really. But it is what it is. Maybe over time I'll grow to like it. These are the struggles that I went through to get this thing on my car. If you choose to buy both of these kits and install them on your car, you got your work cut out for you. Thanks for watching. Stay hungry, stay foolish.